I just want to say, so I'm going through this video, editing it, and I realized that, first of all, I've never done one of these before, so I was figuring it out on the fly as I went. Um, there's a couple of things to note before you start this. One, it will be much wiser to disassemble the steering column in the vehicle um, before you take it out or after. Two, um, I don't show it in the video, but I spent a very long time trying to make a puller. It takes a specialty puller. O'Reilly's actually has them. I called and asked if they rented them. They said they do not, but they have a big kit, and the correct puller is in that kit that they rent. So you're going to need that, um, unless you are a better craftsman than me or want to spend a very long time doing it. Um, I suggest getting that kit first because you have to pull the steering wheel to get the ignition off. Um, you need to switch your ignition, obviously, so your keys are the same. Um, but in hindsight, yeah, I would have pulled the, I would have pulled the steering wheel, the airbag, the steering wheel, the ignition first, then removed the column, install the new column, and then reinstall those components. Um, otherwise it's pretty straightforward. I would suggest watching the entire video before you begin. Um, I know it's a long one, but, uh, it was actually quite the undertaking. I thought it was going to be very easy when I started. It turned out to not be as easy as I thought, but it's still very, very doable for pretty much anybody who just has some hand tools laying around. Um, the only other thing I would mention is the hold down clamp for the ignition cylinder. Um, I'm pretty sure the stock one, they snap the bolts on purpose. I think they're torqued to snap. So you're going to have to easy out them and you're going to have to have replacement bolts to hold that down. Um, I also had a bugger of a time getting that clamp to hold it in position without it jiggling. Um, when I reinstalled it, uh, but I did eventually get it. Um, it just takes a little fiddling, a little trial and error. Um, but otherwise it wasn't horrible other than having to contort. Um, I also was a little congested and I'm fat. I think I'm just naturally a heavy breather, but I have a lot of breathing in this one that really bothered me, but it is what it is. So uh, enjoy the video and good luck if you're tackling this. All right, so I'm here in a 2007 Saturn Ion today. Um, actually came here, this is my neighbor's car, and she was having problems um, with a code for fuel trim. Um, it's like a P1174. Yeah, I found a leak on the intake and a loose spark plug. Checked the injectors, they all ohmed out fine. Um, so I'm still kind of trying to fight that, but a random thing has popped up along the way. So, she parked her car in front of my garage, apparently it wasn't having any issues, uh, and then when I got in it to start doing diagnostic work, I don't know if you can see that or not, there's a power steering alert on underneath the odometer. So, I jump on my handy dandy scanner here, I see two fault codes, let's take a look at them. So we're reading the fault codes on the uh, power steering module. Here we go. All right. So I'm over here messing around, fiddle farting with the uh, intake, the spark plugs, the injectors. Nothing anywhere remotely close to the power steering on this car. This car is an electric power steering motor. It's actually under the dash right here. Um, lo and behold, I get in here. We got two error codes. We've got a history for vehicle speed information circuit. Okay, that. Who cares about that? That's the big one. C0550, ECU performance, current. No matter what I do, I've checked the fuse. The fuse is fine, check the connections at the module. Connections are fine. I'm very confused as to what could have possibly happened. So I start to dig into it a bit. Turns out these things are known for malfunctioning if you parked the car with the steering wheel turned and locked in the locked position. Guess what? She parked the car out here, the steering wheel was turned and locked. So, uh, you go through the, the diagram and uh, there's two components to this. There's the power steering motor, which is really easy to do. I mean, they're both pretty easy. But uh, there's the motor and then there's the module and shaft. Um, I gotta replace the entire shaft. The C0550 is pretty straightforward. If your connections are good, the fuse isn't blown, replace your steering shaft. I can't find one at any auto parts store or anything like that. Uh, I ended up having to get mine at the junkyard. They sell them refurbished on eBay for like 400 bucks. Um, 
she's getting pretty frustrated with this car. I don't think she plans on keeping it very much longer. So we're going to go the junkyard route today. Hopefully this one works. I'm going to throw it in here and see what happens. Um, but uh, bear with me here and we'll, we'll start tearing this puppy apart. I actually want to check in here real quick because I'm going to have to swap some things over. The steering wheel will go over. The ignition module will come over to the new column. But uh, I noticed she also has an airbag code. And I want to see what this is. There's no airbag light. Oh, it's just a history. Okay. Right, so step one, anytime you're doing anything with modules or electronics, it's good practice to just disconnect the battery. Little Saturns, batteries in the trunk. <sighs> Take a gander here. Oh my God, that's not a tin. Perfect. Oh, here we are. Oh, uh, I actually already removed this. Um, this little tray over here. You just squeeze the sides of it. It pops right out. Real easy. So down here. How do we get this guy off, huh? Looks like seven. Looks like. Seven. Oop, there we go. Feels like it's connected back here. It's probably just needs a little trim stick. How do you think this works? I think that works by pulling this tab up. And unplugging it. Yup. Here's the other issue. It's just rainy today. Look at that. We found a hidden screw. So three seven mils. Hold this whole deal on right here. Look, this one's just like the other one. You pull it up with your finger. Pull it out. Good deal. All right. Ah. Oh. We got some more, eh? Some more digging to do. I don't know how well you can see this. So we got one, two, three, four, seven mils for this plastic piece, which I'm pretty sure is all we're gonna have to take out for this as when it comes to trim. Let me set this down here. baby come on baby look at that you get good tools and shit just works eh? so the good news is I have a lot of those screws so I'll replace that there we go follow la all right so, from my understanding, this is where our problem lies. So, we're going to unplug this module. Now, I don't quite understand where the failure point is. Um, how does this one unplug? Oh, here, it's on the back side. It's a squeezer on the back. See? So, you just get it with your finger right there. So, we're going to disconnect all this harness here. I got to pull this plastic some shit up under here I don't even know about um, we're gonna pull the entire column out though 
I don't understand if the failure point is actually within this module, which I could swap. Um, it bolts on with some Allen heads, but it may actually be up here in the steering locking mechanism. I don't know. So I don't want to swap out the module and then burn it up immediately because we messed something up up here actually. So we're going to swap the whole freaking thing over, man. All right, let's contort ourselves up under here. So we got to disconnect this shaft here somehow. Uh, looks like it's just a 13 millimeter bolt. Okay, 13 mil there, 13 mil there. I've heard rumors of one possibly. Oh, I see it. Oh yeah, I'll focus in on this one up top here whenever the time comes. All right, let me go get a 13 real quick. Easiest location to get to if you're big like me. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. All right, so. Where's my daggum? There we are. 13 mil. This is just tightening the steering shaft down on the splines. Hold on. I need to use all my muscles. All my little muscles that are remaining for this. There we go. Looks like this bolt is locked tight in. Makes sense. <laughs> I got jokes today. All right, let's see. So that's out. 13 there and a 13 there. Let me, ow. I'll tell you, the worst part about this is being fat and doing this on the concrete outside because it does not feel good. Mm. <clears throat> All right. We're going to pull these plastics here. Seven mil. Drop that one. Drop this one. Let's see how this comes apart. These are different, so we're gonna set those aside as a pair. I should have at least moved this car from where she parked it. That's my biggest regret at the moment. All right, so this piece just clips off. Sweet. So we're gonna have to undo all this. I have a feeling this also just kind of clips off in half in that part, question mark. And it seems to be the case. The lever's in the way? Yeah, okay. I don't know if you can See what I'm seeing here. Ow. Why do I say ow when I bonk the camera? It's not like it actually hurts. It's like I hear it and I expect it to hurt. Hmm. I don't, I'm not really understanding how this plastic is supposed to come off, but I don't think it actually needs to, to be honest. So I'm gonna leave it on for now. Squeeze. Yeah. Word of advice. Fingernails would apparently help with this plug. Never seen a plug like this before. What in tarnation? This one's got one of those little safety do not unplug me deals that we gotta take out. Wow, I wish it was colder. Freaking hot in here, man. I'm not gonna be able to do that without a screwdriver. Oh. So yeah, you'll see I've been sitting on this blacktop and it's parked on a hill so the door won't even stay open. It just closes on me the whole time. Did not do this like an intelligent person. Who's this? Let's get this stupid. Oh, oh. Huh. 
Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh. Look at that goofy bastard. Golly. Okay. So it goes in there like that. All right, sweet. All right. Now back down here. Owie. Uh. All right, this bolt's a, a real sucker, man. That's what this is. All right, I'm on it. So you see where I'm at? I'm on it. Right. Uh, uh, okay, okay, that's not that's not working. Let's go back to what we were trying. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I take out this. This will give me more space. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so what we're gonna do is, that bolt's a real pain in the rear to get to. So I'm gonna take out this electric motor to make life way easier. Now that just allowed me to come up through this space, which allows me to get this bigger ratchet in here. It's really the easiest thing to do, but making progress, here we go. Okay. Look at this thing. I was gonna leave it up there. So freaking long, dude. Look at it, right there. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. One. Let's take a look at this side. Oh. Should have done this one first. I don't contort well anymore. Not that I ever actually did, but all right. All that underneath, there's 13 mil on that side, 13 mil on that side. So technically, in theory, I think we're free. Look at this. I'm gonna hold the door open with my foot. I think. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Wait. What's this cut on? Oh no. Oh no. There's more shit. Okay. Wait, oh. I missed things. That's why you don't just jump the gun and get all excited, eh? All right. That unplugs. That was a uh, press with a finger. All right. We're free, yay! Now, we gotta go to the bench. Start swapping some things over. So I'd love to just unbolt this right here, swap out this power steering module and motor to the other shaft. But I'm afraid the steering lock mechanism is actually the problem. Look at that, you take all the screws out, it comes right apart, eh? Huh. 
Okay, there's one. Oh, this whole dang old thing is fucking one unit? What? So you saw that, you just take something, you push in here, you see these little release tabs? Oop. It goes directly in. You just press on these for in these little holes. Like that. And you're pressing on this bar and it moves that bar over which sits in this little lock here. See? You just push it out of there so you can pull it out. You can do one set at a time like I just did, or you can press them both at the same time if you're real skilled, which is what I tried to do and failed. It's probably a 21 now, because that's the story of my life. It is a 21. This kit from O'Reilly's combined it with this piece that I had here. Let's try this now. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. Turns out when you have the right freaking tools, man. It's not even that bad, huh? Oh, I don't actually know why I left that on there. Made no fucking sense, but uh, I guess to catch it when it exploded at my face. The orientation that this is gonna go in the car. So the steering wheels look the same. They already have the cover on this one now. It's a little cleaner. So we'll end up using this one again, I think. Since I have to take it off anyhow. Where's my weird square thing? There it is. Get in the hole. Where are you, part? Well, there you are. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so check this out. Took that out so I could slide this off so I could take this out. What is it called? Wait, what? What's catching? Is this some sick joke? Oh, thank God, okay. Sha <laughs> sha. This is what we're looking for, baby. That's it. All right. Let me see how that's routed in there, then. Oh, that doesn't go through here. Only the clock spring does. Man, 
turns out that shit works good when the bolts aren't super fucking tight and corroded. Alright, you can break it off of there. Okay, oh, I need my drill. What do you mean break it off of there? You just like yeah. Sweet. Put these things away. Voila! Okay. It's gonna be this bolt. And it's gonna be this bolt. And they're gonna go here. Okay. See where that is? Oh, don't lay on the scanner. Can I lay on the other things? No, those are plastic. And from fucking 2007. Ow, oh, where's the other bolt? Right here. Uh, I'm in position. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. I think you're right. Alright. Oh. I have to go get poops. Oh. Oh. Wow, I just recorded almost none of that. That's pretty cool. This has turned into a nightmare, man. Okay. Got my sister to start those bolts while I held it up there. I snug them up a little bit. Now, we're back down to that bolt. Way back in there. Gotta get it fished through. Oh my god, I got it. <laughs> okay. I want to take a ratchet now so I can test that. Okay. This stupid ass wire went there. Like. That, okay. Plugged into one of these. I did a, it doesn't plug into that one. It means it has to plug into that one. This. This had to plug into this one. See how this goes. Oh. 
that's tight. So what did we learn today? So we learned that you need to take the steering wheel off first before you pull the actual steering shaft. So put the two tabs in, pop the airbag out, unplug it, set it to the side, take the axle nut off, use the puller, which takes that specialty puller I ended up having to go to a rallies to get after I tried to make one for two hours. Pop the steering wheel off, take that out, pull the clock spring and the ignition. It's a uh, you're gonna have to easy out the bolts most likely. It looks like from factory, they actually snap them on purpose. And then the replacement ones come with 10 mils on them. Um, if you replace the actual ignition, but it unbolts from the top and it's got like a, a U-shaped clamp that holds it down. Um, I have the whole bench video of me taking apart the bench. But essentially, pull off that first. It'll be way easier. You do that, then drop the shaft like I did earlier. Take the new shaft, install it, pull all this stuff off while it's installed right be much easier and then put your old ignition switch on bam put your steering wheel back on be careful it took me if i had a lot of trouble getting the orientation of the clock spring and ignition assembly it's one unit once they're together uh in the correct spot with so it wouldn't bind against the steering wheel at first it was click 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 click, click from it dra dragging so um that's pretty much it man knocked out our problem there see what it looks like in here power steering control module has two faults it says what are the faults history 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 baby so you erase those codes sha sha junkyard module for the win